Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the PDSA fundraiser. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are going to be going over a oldie but a goodie once again. Following on to our little trend that we did yesterday and that was a farm in which you can actually do in a very short amount of time and get a lot of materials. Now this one is a Dreamleaf farm and this one is called the Dark Heart Thicket. Now. This farm is located within Val Shirar, and this is in the dungeon, the Dark Heart Thicket. Now, what you would usually be doing is you would farm up a dream leaf all around Val Shirar in an hour's worth of farming. However, there is a better option for you. Now, usually when it comes towards farming up a dream leaf in Val Shirar, you're going to get a decent amount of dream leaf overall. That's pretty damn good. The thing that you may want to take into consideration is the Dark Heart Thicket farm. Now this one can actually pull you in more Dreamleaf per hour than just open world farming Dreamleaf. So if you're very short on time and you wanted to maximize the amount of gold per hour that you actually want, then I'd suggest doing the Dark Heart Thicket as it takes around about half the amount of time, which is 30 minutes, in order to do this particular farm. Now, if we actually gather up and have a look at what we actually got in an hour's worth of farming, and if we go into Worth It and we go down to My Farms, we can actually go and find the Dark Heart Thicket farm, which nets us in around about 11,633 gold, which is the standard on my server, which is the seeds, 457 of those, and Dreamleaf 944. Now, you can coincidentally turn this in with inscription into its respective inks in order to use, and quite frankly, this is probably a very decent way in order to do that if you are a scribe, if you're very short on time, and you would rather just farm up your own mats, as a lot of the high selling mats are from Legion, so it just makes sense to actually utilize this farm as it takes 30 minutes to do you get more dream leaf and your cereal lion seeds per hour than you would open world farming and you could add that into your gold rotation 30 minutes of of farming up dream leaf and then you can then craft those into their respective inks and use that into your crafting and then you can sell that on. So that's another way to reduce the cost of your inscription overall for around about an hour's worth of crafting and farming. So overall, what do we actually get from this particular farm? Well, we actually got a hold of quite a decent amount of Dreamleaf and we also got some BOE stuff. I left them out of this farm's evaluations because obviously they are heavily RNG based and we actually got a, a nice male helm from this that is a epic and that's a BOE of course and that the min buyout for it is around about 14,999 gold and it's at a sell rate of 0.02 so that's better than most transmog so I'm not going to lose a sleep over that overall and we actually got something that actually sells for quite well as well and that's 0.01, uh, 0.04 and that is the artifact relics and this one's the Shadow Artifact Relic, which sells for a market value of around about 3,000 gold, or a region market value average of 1,806 gold. This one is one of those ones that you're just like, hmm, would it actually sell that well? Well, yeah, kind of. It depends on your actual particular server and how you think it's going to fare. Personally, for me, I reckon it's going to sell relatively well, so I'm going to actually try and sell that on. And this goes with the helm, but the helm is self-explanatory, it just makes sense. So, if we adjust this to the DB... So if we set, set this to the DB region market average across our region, so for pretty much all servers, we can have a look at what the Dark Heart Thicket farm will actually net you. And it's around about 17,401 gold per hour, which is the average across all regions. So that's pretty damn good. Obviously on my server, because it's a highly populated server, it's definitely going to be a lower value. And overall for people, it will be roughly around about 17,000 gold. That's pretty good for 30 minutes of farming. 17Ks worth of materials in half an hour. So let's jump over and actually do this particular farm. So what you're going to want to do is jump on a druid or any herbalism class. I prefer a druid as they can get through this dungeon relatively easily without that much of a fuss. Now these mobs do aggro so just be aware of that. Uh, 
but I've got shadow meld to actually get away from them all and all that stuff. So obviously I've just tagged one right now and they're, uh, yeah, I've aggroed one and they're going to be chasing me for a little bit, but I will shadow meld in a minute and just get around that. Typically I will be able to just get out of combat and you can always kill these guys for additional loot such as like Legion Transmog as well if you're into that type of thing but overall it doesn't really affect me all that much. So now Shadow Meld is on and I'm out of combat and we're just going to wait for this boss because the part that we want to get to is the part over here with all of these Vile Thorn Blossoms and what we're going to want to do is just grab their aggro in the grand scheme of things. So we're just going to grab their aggro right now and we're going to start our farm. So this is what we're actually going to be doing. We're actually going to grab all of these mobs up and quite frankly I found this to be a very reliable way in order to make some gold. So if you are at a loose end and you've got a 30 minutes spare or you don't have that much time to actually farm up something and you want to actually get in a decent farm. Now, the Dreamly farm works really well for a lot of reasons, and that is because it's just so easy in order to do, and quite frankly, I find this to be just an easy farm just to actually get a decent amount of gold overall and all that stuff. Now, since the Shadowlands release, these mobs have gotten harder to kill, but there's not a problem once we actually start getting ourselves a bit more geared up. I do intend on doing that in the near future because I would like to cover some other farms such as like Legion Raids and all that stuff and want to see how they fare in the grand scheme of things but what we're coming for is definitely these vials. So we're going to loot up all of our stuff and now we see all of these vials. Now with this they are tending to be needed to be gathered. Now with the, po the Dark Moon Fire Water Potion it's nearly instantaneous and I, I was very shocked when I saw this there's like a little weird thing that's actually going about here so when you have the dark moon fire water actually on and unfortunately I don't actually have one on me right at this second in time you can actually pretty much press it and it will do it even faster than it usually would the dark moon fire water will obviously increase your gathering rate but overall it's quite weird because I found because I found that when I was doing this it was literally instant so it was an instant gathering so it's it's changed a little bit ever since ever since SL's release so it's just something to keep in mind when you've got the dark moon fire water potion on it will be like pretty much an instant gather and I haven't tested it with, with other old world stuff, but in this dungeon specifically, when I've got the Dark Moon Fire Water on, I literally click and I loot, as I would like just looting any random mob in the game. It's literally like that, but with herbalism. So Dark Moon Fire Water is definitely a necessity when you're actually doing this particular type of farm. So overall, we gathered up a decent amount of gold's worth of Dreamleaf. I'm definitely going to be using them for my scribe for when we actually get into our inks and overall that's something that we're going to be doing moving forward because quite frankly you can add this into your gold rotation, you can always sell the mats on the auction house, that will net you in some decent gold and also you can use that for your scribe which I intend to do because I'd rather keep up to date with my glyph market as I know glyphs sell for a hefty profit in the grand scheme of things. So that being said I would actually suggest that you guys jump in on this because it's a very strong gold per hour across the region. Across the region it's roughly around 17,000 gold for 30 minutes worth of work. The other thing you can do is dream walk to go in and out of the actual dungeon if you are a druid or if you are another class you can use another different type of method such as like monks with their, with their meditation thing. I can't actually remember the thing off by heart. But aside from that, you can just use Dreamwalk to go in and out of the dungeon. So once you've finished your farm, you don't have to go back to the entrance again. 
and what you can do there is you can then jump back out and you'll be outside of the dungeon and then all you gotta do is reset your instance in whatever way you wanna do. You can do it through your tab, you can use it through the Worth It Recorder or you can use it through Loot Appraiser. It really doesn't matter as long as you can reset the instance. Now, aside from all of that, that is pretty much the farm for the day. 17,000 golds worth of items in around about 30 minutes worth, providing you are using the Dark Moon Firewater Potion as well. So, that being the case guys, let's jump over to the gold for the day. Okay, so the gold for the day is a healthy 30,419 gold. Things of note that actually sold for us is 68 Celestial Ink for 5,877 gold, as well as a Glyph of a Feral Chameleon for 1,329 gold. And along with that we sold Moon Glow Ink, 64 of that for 2,432 gold, as well as a Frozen Shadow Weave Robe, which is another transmog item, so that's pulled in quite well. That's 14,056 gold overall for that one. The Moon Glow Ink, we sold another 47 of that for 1,786 gold, and we sold the Volatile Air from yesterday for 100. Uh, 174 of those for 3,970 gold. So 30,419 gold is nothing to really scoff at for a daily clean out. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that because those ones are pretty much all profit. So can't really complain right there. Currently, we are looking at quite a nice amount of stuff. Obviously, I haven't had some luck with any of my drops as of yet, but we still got like sealed terms of Lost Legion on the auction house and all of that stuff. What I'll probably be doing is sending over all of my Dreamleaf towards Zathrash in order to craft his glyphs, and then hopefully we'll have enough to get into our glyph market moving forward. The other stuff will be added into our TSM, and obviously, look at the drop, I know. But unfortunately, we, but actually we're pulling in a profit, so I'm, I'm still pretty happy with that right there. So we'll go into our groups right now and we will jump into a load of our different types of stuff. So we'll go over to junk and we'll just add those into the junk pile because they're just junk items that I don't really care for that much. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't. It's one of those things. So what we'll do now is we'll just go in and scan all of this stuff, scan it in, and then we can look at our auction house, which is around about 73 items. Um, unfortunately, I don't have that many items, but it's 1,345,000 golds worth of items on the auction house. And obviously we did spend a load of gold on a future project, but we'll have to wait and see with that one because we are trying to buy out a load of the materials that we need for our stuff as well as trying to maintain that price so i'm not overspending for all of this stuff because it's really pricey other than that guys that is pretty much everything for today if you wish to donate towards the pdsa fundraiser we are doing really well at this moment in time the link is at the top of the description if you would wish to donate other than that guys have an awesome rest of the day and i shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow if you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better, then why not check out the Patreon? Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.